Half an hour. Welcome back to the channel. My name is Natox, and this is Football Fan Tribe. If you're new, please click that subscribe button. I beg, like this video, drop a comment, and let us know what you think because the Manchester United just lost a 3 2 uh, to Galatasaray at Old Trafford, and now two matches in the Champions League, two losses, seven goals conceded. Man, I mean, Harry, your thoughts on the match? Welcome to Head. <laughs> <laughs> that was what the ban that was what the banner read in the morning when they came. Mm, mm. It, it, it has not been a rosy between Manchester United and Galatasaray. Exactly. As far as I can remember, it has never been it has never been rosy. Mm. And uh, it's one of those things that happen when things begins to go bad. Yeah. Uh, uh the white man uh, you will go tell you say the simplest definition of madness is when you do the same thing and explain expect a different result. result. Like the egg has been doing the same thing mm. and expect expect a different result. And to me, that is the simple definition of madness. At this point in time, I think people should begin to give credit to the likes of Mourinho then. Yeah. Because every day we sit, every day we sit, we joke about how Mourinho use Eto to play defense. Yeah. And people People will forget to complete that story by saying he won. Exactly, man. You know, most of the times in football, when we don't like a player or a manager, we then tell a half story. We don't tell a balanced story. Hmm. So when you're talking a football history or a football story, you have to tell a balanced story. Exactly. Last interview here, I told you that the worst thing you can do to a player is to play him out of his natural position. Yeah. You will get nothing. And that is exactly what happened again this night. Yeah. Coming into this game this night, I don't think, I don't think uh, this Galatasaray today is, is better than Aston Villa. Hmm. It's my personal opinion. They find they are on twenty games from beating run before this night. They have made yes, it one. Exactly. Now it's in our middle. So so they are not a pushover. When I, I'm I'm not comparing Aston Villa and the Galatasaray. I am saying there are games you cannot say this player cannot play in that game. Yeah. In as much as we cry about injury crisis, especially in our defense line, I still maintain, I still believe. That coming into this game today, appearing uh, five and six of Veran and Maguire, Lindelof play three, wouldn't have been that bad. All I want to see in this time, in this hard time, I want to see a Casimiro and Amrabat play play in the midfield. This game was going well. This game was very okay until Hannibal left the pitch. Hmm. We are scoring. We have we, we have a simple problem of holding on to pressure. Exactly. We score. We score the first goal in less than six minutes. They equalize. We score the second goal in less than four minutes. They equalize again. Against against Arsenal, that was exactly what happened. Yeah. So what is the problem? Your problem is in your midfield. You've not gotten it right in the midfield. You have players who are very indispensable. To you, you can't play without them. And every day is backfiring. Just go back and check Marcus Rashford's first assist to Hoyland. Check the finishing. That same Rashford, if you cross that ball for him, he would, he would, he would put himself the way Hoyland put himself in that ball. Anthony Masia will. Rashford self. He scored some headed goals too, but <laughs> no, no, I, no see, I don't mean, I don't, I don't mean headed goals. There are difficult goals. You see players putting in everything. They don't spare themselves. Yeah. There, there are there are decisions a Masia cannot take. He spare himself a lot. He spare himself a lot. So, so what else do we need to do? This is a group everybody predicted Mayu to at least finish second. 
in the history of Champions League, this is our worst start. United have not gone into a Champions League season and lose their first two games. Hmm. Go to your record and prove me wrong. So everybody say, okay, fine. If Bayern beats Mayu home and away, Mayu can go and beat Copenhagen and Bayern and the, and the Galatasaray until he finish second. Then we lost the, we lost the first two games. Not that we didn't play well. Even against Bayern, we played well. Everybody expected Bayern to dominate the game. Bayern did dominate the game. But we had a problem of not taking the right decision. Go and check every game we've played. This is, we've played 10 games already. Aside the Nottingham Forest game, we considered two, go two quick goals. Check the rest. We started. We start all. The first 10 minutes of every game we play this season, as sign not for us, we will play the first 15, 10 minutes. Look at hmm. Chelsea game last night. Chelsea scored two goals in less than 70 seconds. Yeah, yeah. And that, and that two quick fire decided that game. Simple and short. You know, they, they got the first goal, they got the second goal. To an average Chelsea fan, this one is done and dusted. Mm-hmm. And that was it. We bust this game. See, we got the first goal. Then we couldn't regroup. We couldn't regroup. Because uh, so people, I, I've, I've gone to the social media, people are saying, I'm Rabat, I'm Rabat, I'm Rabat. I said, you can't say this. He is not a left, he's not a full back. He's a midfielder. And if you can think of Converting a number of a midfield, a defensive midfielder to come and play three. You can simply use one of the five and six to play that three. So now is it is is, is it time? You don't you don't reach time where I am hard gas pull out to Nana. Talk say oh boy. Just rest. Nobody like say you know good, but at least just take a breather because the pressure and the everything, it looks like that guy. <laughs> That guy they cost my you serious, serious points. And let, at this point of the season talk. now. Let's talk. Let's talk. Mm. Mm. You know that you know the job you do. Yeah. You you, you can't do this job with Nokia 3310. True. But now phone. Mm-hmm. Now phone now. Exactly. When another came, we had an interview and I and I, and I told you. I told you that Onana coming to Manchester United to play what the hell wants him to play. It's not bad. But do we have the material? We don't have the material. Look at the mistake. If man you line up, if man you line up um, Luke Shaw, Juan Bisaka, Martinez, and Varane, these blushes will not show. Every manager in every management career has a plan A and a plan B. That is why you have goalkeeper one, goalkeeper two, goalkeeper three. Mm. Another is a ball playing goalkeeper. At this particular point in time, your professional defenders who are ball playing defenders are not available. I tell him to kick it long, or you bring him out. So you pull him out. Ah, wow. The way managers banish players this time around, small team, you relegate a player. I told you, yeah, that, on, that David De Gea was never our problem last season. During our game against Sevilla, we lost our five and six. And I, thought, I told you, after that game, during the interview, that our season is over, we go first for top four. And that was what happened. Exactly. That was what happened. It's just like somebody taking you to Champions League after seven years. Now you buy another goalkeeper. Then you, you bury him on the bench. As in, eh? As in, eh? <laughs> You know, you wake up, you wake up, you take harsh decisions. Mourinho came, he threw away Luke Shaw. Tahe came, he threw away one Bissaka. Now look at the Dalot. That was poor. That was poor. Against the <laughs> Zaha guy, that thing cast. Oh boy. During the last during the last interview, yeah, I said that the people wanted to kill me. That he has been good. He has been good. And I said, even as I will see the pity this night, Delot is still playing defense because orthodox managers like Morigo and Alice are no longer around. By now, by now, Dalot and Alexander Arnold should be midfielders and wingers. Sharp. Every day, I, every day I see that lot. I remember John. I remember um, 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 Phil Jones. How, 
can a player rest on your body? Rest on your body. Comfortably rest on your body. Then you back your, you, 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 you face your pose and throw your leg up. In modern in, football. As in a guy. Hmm. I, I know so many people, many my United fans go find it difficult to call a match, but guy, where Bruno? For how many games now? Where Bruno did? Where Bruno did now? Where Eric the Hell put him? <laughs> as good as as good as you are, as good as you are in tech in in tech, mm. you can't be having this interview and be typing the letter in the typewriter at the same time. Hmm. Oh, well, I guess four brain. I'll be too big. Eric, Eric, Eric the Hell should understand a very simple fact. He cannot play Messi, Mant, and Bruno Fernandes. It will never work. Or the other. It has to be one or the other. It will never, never work. That is one decision you have to make. Two, he must tell Rashford that he is not indis indispensable. At a point in Man City, Guardiola said, no player here is indispensable. Exactly. That are people we are that are people we are looking at Raheem Sterling. Sterling was fine at all ceiling at that time, but he made it clear that nobody is indispensable here. So you have to go and fight. Hmm. Let me ask you now: What, what are the chances? What will be my chance now? Because I remember when we do when they do the draws and then I be predicting my United go top this group, but you know, by and they, they are self self them they know well and I be the truth then. They, they, then they don't escape Copenhagen today, shall but in the end, then they know where we're six points from possible to wait to be my chances now to qualify for this group because next game is away to Copenhagen, then home to Copenhagen. Then I guess it will now be um, the away game at Galatasaray before the home game to Bayern. Fine, so this is the point where the calculator comes in now. <laughs> Yes, because as yeah, it stands, boy. you don't just need to you don't just need to win. You need to win and pray that your your other team, other people lose. Favorable now, result, that's right. Someone like someone like me, someone like me now should go all, all out for Bayern to win all their remaining games. Mm. Aside me. If Bayern can beat Galatasaray home and away, Copenhagen go home and away. Then me, I must beat Copenhagen home and away. It's now a must. Yeah. That two, that two, like that two double header is now a must. If my you fail to get that six point, it's over. Because while we are while we are doing a double against uh, uh, Copenhagen, Bayern is busy also doing a double against Galatasaray. Exactly. So if Bayern got get the six available points, they will go twelve points. If my yeah. should get the six. If my issue get the six, they go second. Exactly. So if we, if we get it and go second, then we pray that we we'll, we'll beat by we we'll beat Galatasaray, then wait for the result against Bayern. So what are the chances quickly now? Ten percent out of a hundred percent. Out of hundred percent is thirty. Fair enough. Fair it's, enough. It's a very meager chance, and it's a very big shame. See, we should be talking about Eric Ten Hag getting sacked now. Ah, ah! Yes, of course. You, you, know, you don't need to shout. Ten games, six losses. No Luxor, no Martinez, no Ambisaka, no um, no. Oh, oh, wait to be, wait to be this or this thing. No Anthony, no Sancho. Anthony just Anthony come back is, today. Uh, Anthony is back. Where he is just Sancho? come back today now. Nah. He just where uh, is, but is, he no day now. Nah. Where is Sancho? Where but, is Sancho? But no, Wahala. I, I guess by the standard, shall you know the bad to begin talk about that this thing. See, now. see, mm. see. Manchester United, Manchester United is a top. It's an elite club. Yeah. If during the era of Roman, you can't be here laughing if I say Eric Ten Hag as a Chelsea coach should be get, should, they should start talking about get him getting sacked. You shouldn't be laughing. You know, you know it's reality. Exactly. And this is what Chelsea have done in so many years, and they got resolved. They believe in hiring and firing. Today they have two Champions League. So how else do you define a collateral failure that you play ten games in the season and you've lost four already, six already? Brother, 
It, it, it's quite bad. Yeah. Because I'll, I'll give it to him. This is not the time somebody should come and start saying the glazer, the glazer, the glazer. You came in, you spent. Second season again, you've also spent. To manage success is not easy. At this point, we should start clapping for people like Alex Ferguson, Morio, and Pep. To manage success is not easy. I can even tell you right now that uh, Eric Tahego for achieved the last season. And I'm waiting to cast them. Oh, yeah. No, your final that, thoughts. That, 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 that was exactly what um, um, Lampard did when he came to Chelsea. Exactly. Manager mature. Manager mature. He managed amateur to Champions League football. Then they gave him money. He spent money and he withered away. My final thought is quite simple. Eric Ten Hag shouldn't be crying much about injury. Injury is part of football. Of us know that we agree on that. In your defense line, you have players whom you can manage. You can shift some people. That is why you're a manager. Everything must not be given to you. You must manage what you have. That is why you're a manager. And you must keep sentiment apart and play people in their natural position and let your players know that nobody's bigger than the club. No, well, I man. We move. Don't forget to uh, subscribe if you never subscribed yet. Like this video. Drop your own comment, your thoughts on the game, your thoughts on our thoughts, and uh, we move. Thanks for watching. Thanks for watching. Right here, another one of our videos where you supposed to like and all our social media links are big. Follow us on every platform because we get content for everybody.